G'day everyone, welcome to a brand new video. I've been pretty slack lately. No, I haven't been slack, I've been very busy. I've just moved house and I haven't had a chance to get out for the last two months, but I'm back out now and we are making another video. Plan is for this trip, for this episode, I'm gonna go find myself a nice young meat goat. I'm gonna shoot it and then we're gonna make a curry of some description, I don't know what flavor yet. But we'll get there, we'll figure it out. So I really hope you enjoy this video. And I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long, but here we are, we're back. G'day everyone. Today I'm out and about looking around. I'm trying to find myself a nice size goat to cook up a nice curry with. There's a lot around, I've just been for a quick look. And there's heaps of young ones around, heaps of like perfectly sized ones around. So I don't think it's going to take us too long to get one, but I was just getting set up and my camera wouldn't record for some reason. It says something about the memory card. So I've come to get another memory card and hope that it'll fix it. Anyways, we'll see what we can do. Let's see if I can get this camera to work. <laughs> Well, there you have it. I just got a nice small goat, well, probably a half, half grown, three quarter size nanny goat, which would be perfect for what we want to do. I probably can't, it's sitting right in front of me now. I just dragged it under this tree to get ready to cut it up, but probably can't really show you it. I'll show you the back half. <laughs> Nice little fat healthy goat. Alright, I'll get it ready, I'll hang it up in the tree in a sec. Alright, so we're on the ground, what you want to do is you start cut around these joints here and start skinning it back just a little bit, just enough to hang it up in the tree. I'll show you. Hopefully this will hold it. Mm. 
Cool. Got a hanger. Alright, so what you want to do, you want to cut down here to the middle, cut down here to the middle, cut all the way down between here, then cut up, cut up, cut around, cut around, and then you just peel it back, just keep working your way down. I'll show you in a second. So we're all done. Took me a lot longer than I was expecting because there is bloody thousands of big blowflies there and they'll get straight in the meat every second they every chance they get they'll be straight into the meat. See right now, right in front. Here we go. Nice clean. Good, nice young goat. There's guts, there's a skin, some legs. Yeah, we'll take this back whole. Might even hang it up whole for a day. See how we go. Right, so that's it. I just grabbed me little goat, took him back, chucked him in the fridge in the car. Just come back and get the rest of me stuff. There are so many goats around. Like they are, you can probably hear them right now. But they're everywhere. I'm done for now, but hopefully there's that many goats around. I might be able to bump into a nice size billy or something later in the trip hopefully i'll get me bow ready today get that sorted out so i can take that it's a little bit too easy when you're running a rifle i've been out <coughs> left this morning probably <coughs> 7 30 all done cleaned up ready to roll by nine and that's because i was messing around taking photos of goats as well i could have been done even earlier but <laughs> That's all right, we'll keep an eye out and we'll figure out something to cook up for this little goat. G'day everyone and welcome to my brand new kitchen. So I know I said we were going to do a curry or something like that but I thought I'd get these little racks of racks of goat meat from that little one we got the other day and give it a go because they look pretty good so hopefully they turn out pretty good. I've never actually tried it like this before but I'm pretty keen to give it a shot. So it's a pretty simple recipe I found. It really was only oil, salt and rosemary but i've changed it a little bit i've just put i've just put mixed herbs salt and a bit of pepper as well just to see if that tastes makes it taste pretty good so what we really need just need to do flip these over and just get it says to get half of the mixture and 
Now, all it says is you put fry pan on the stove, put some oil in there, and then when it's hot, chuck these in and sear it on all sides. Alright, so it's been in the oven for about 20-25 minutes. Let's see what it looks like. It's pretty good. Now we just want to put a bit more of this salt and pepper on there. And you just got to leave it for about 10 minutes they say. And we'll see what it does. Alright, so I've just cut it off the bone. Real juicy and soft, so I just want to see what it looks like on the inside. Maybe a little bit overdone, but I know for next time just to go a little bit lower on the time. Maybe 20 minutes instead of 25. But I'll give it a go. It's still really tasty. Yeah, that's still really nice. It's still really soft and still really tender even though it's a little bit overdone. Maybe go 20 minutes in the oven instead of 25. And that should probably be good because it's still like really soft and really juicy. You can see all the juice coming out of it. Anyway guys, that's the end of another episode. Hope you enjoyed that and you probably give this a go. Go 20 minutes in the oven instead of 25, but Still really good. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Take it easy.